so essentially um, all of your sites you're going to have uh, two posts on the rear site and a single post on the front side. Right. So what we're after is uh, maintain the same level. Stand next to you so that I can uh, record it. To, to maintain the uh, vertical alignment, what we want to do is align the top of the front sight, the top of the front sight with the top of the rear sights, right? Um, a lot of times, I remember when I first uh, first tried this years ago, I, I, I got a gun with the, the little dots on there, and I thought you had to line up the dots, and I was shooting uh, low every time because right? I lined the dots up perfectly. Forget the dots. That's for just crude uh, measurement of low light, right? You want to line up the mechanical adjustments of the sight. So line up the top of the rear sight with the um, top of the front sight, all right? Make sure that's one plane. Next, you're looking then at the space between the front sight and the rear sight. So in other words, I've got a gap over here and a gap over here. I want the same amount of gap on either side, right? If I, if I have less gap on this side than this side, I'm going to be shooting, that's going to be shooting to the right, right? If it's over here, I'm going to be shooting to the left. So it's that simple. Mechanical alignment on the top equals space on the uh, front. And depending on the length of your arm, right, if your gun is way out here, right, I got these big uh, orangutan arms, I extend this way out and I have very small slivers of light. In some, some regards, that uh, provides better, better lateral sight line for me. Um, I've been recently been doing a, uh, working on a system where I've been shooting from here and you have big gaps. Right? Like but you have but more, you the closer it is in your body, cool. better mechanical control out of it. The further out, uh, less mechanical control, but the better you are able to align it laterally. So, um, when you press the trigger, right? Again, going back to the notion of letting letting the uh, trigger press, letting the uh, firearm going off surprise you. Right? Maintain that side alignment and just. Uh, Slow the press it. that goes off, and I return it. You can that same, same side line. All of you, I can guarantee you can already aim fine. It's between letting the slack out and it going off is where everything screws up. It's where everything screws up, right? Uh, if you don't believe me, sometimes put a, uh, a dummy round in your firearm. Try it with a revolver, right? You milk it, you know. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I just do it with the yeah. my safety was still on. Yeah, yeah, that, and fool yourself sometimes. You know, revolvers are great for that. Buy some dummy rounds. Uh, you can find them online, they're like a buck a piece. Just uh, grab a handful, go out and fire, bang, bang, milk. Ah, right? So, then you have to go home and work on that side alignment, press. Yeah. Right? And then get to the point where you can watch that, you know, even with. Uh, you can just watch the front sight when you're doing it at home. Yes. This much Absolutely. little bit of wiggle is, you know, a foot downrange, right? So if you watch it as you break that trigger and that thing wiggles, you're, you're missing your target. Yeah. Mind if I run a sight alignment drill real quick? Go ahead, go ahead. Do All it. right, so let's come up, uh, let's dress a line like right here at three yards. So pretty much lined up with this Home Depot bucket and me. Right? Okay. Uh, even closer. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, what about, let me go about three yards. One, two, three. Even better. But that would be Scoot up down. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yep, there we go. So, this is the range I want to shoot. Alright. I want you to pick a very specific target. Uh, some of those not destroyed already, like the top of the, the center of the sea or the top of the sea. Uh, something we need to consider is uh, uh, offset. Alright. Um, Offset is a difference between sight. Right. So there's the mechanical top of my rear sight and the top of my front sight. And that's what I'm getting in the same line. But you see, that's about five eighths of an inch lower than my actual muzzle. Right. It's called offset. If I were to come up here and I were to launch a trigger lined up at the top of this C, that's not where my bullet's going. It's going about five eighths of an inch lower. Right? Not a big deal when you start spanning the distance out, all right? Because that cone starts narrowing down, right? 
you get into rifles, right? You have, you have, a, you can have a three-inch offset, and they they can get significant. Um, but when I am at this range, what I want you to do, what we're going to do is aim for the top of this C, right? I want you to line the sight on the top of that C. Take your time pressing the trigger, and we should see that bullet go in just below that, right? So I want you to take your time, one shot only, right? And after you do that, uh, no, let's, let's do just that. So go ahead and make ready. Stand by. When I say fight, you're just going to come on the target. All right, you're not going to fire. Fight. Okay, so top of the that mechanical top is on top of that C, right on there. All right. Go and take your safeties off. Take the slack out of your trigger. Slacks out of the trigger. Still maintaining that same side alignment. The vertical vertical space between the front sight and the rear sight is the same distance. Take your time, slacks out, slowly press the trigger, maintain that same side. Good, let the reset out. All right, and again, top, slowly. Okay, and holster. So we come at we come at these distances because if, if, you, if you work on your shooting back at 10 yards, you don't know what the cause is. We don't know if it, is it the trigger discipline, is it my sight alignment. We come up with these short distances because you can start picking out the variables, right? We start to say, okay, you might be pre this might be your your trigger might be going low left a little bit, right? What's the cause of that? If that could be doing this. You could be pressing down and to the left, right? So that tells you, oh, well, maybe I need to focus on the articulation of this one, right? This, this one was dead nuts, right? This last one was low left, right? So once again, that's probably your trigger discipline, right? And that's slightly off to the, up, slightly off to the right, but otherwise dead nuts.